This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create these text portraits using Inkscape. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Inkscape here. The first thing we want to do is just set up our documents that we're all working with a similar view. I'm going to go to File, Document Properties. I'm going to set the display units to pixels. And under where it says border, where it says show page border, I'm just going to uncheck that to turn off the visibility of the page border. And we can close out of that. We're going to want to next go to view. Make sure you have custom selected. And then we'll zoom in at one to one. And then I'm going to open up the inline and distribute menu with this button right here. We're going to want last selected uh, chosen from this drop down right here where it says relative to. And then finally, we'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu with that button there. So what we're going to do first is we're going to import uh, the image we'd like to use. If you want to use the exact image I'm using, I'll have a link to it in the description of the video. Uh, otherwise, you could use whatever image you'd like. So I'm just going to open up my folder here on my other screen. You're not going to be able to see this, but basically what you do is you take your image and you, you just click and drag it into Inkscape like this. And it's going to ask you if you want to embed it or link it. I'm going to choose embed. Go ahead and click OK. And there's the image. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can have a larger view. I'm going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel. Uh, what I'm going to do next now is I want to create a rectangle that's the same size as this image. So I'm going to right click this and go to copy. And then I'm going to grab the squares and rectangles tool and just go ahead and create a rectangle of any size like that. Uh, make sure you have sharp squared corners. If you don't, then you just uh, click this button up here in the toolbar. If it's grayed out, then that means you're good to go. Uh, I'm going to make this, uh, I would leave this black, or I'm actually going to use a very, very dark gray, but either that or, or, or uh, black should work. And now, in order to make this the same size as the image, I'm going to go to Edit, Paste Size, and Paste Size. And that should make it the same width and height as the example image here. So what we're going to do next is generate some text. Now, you can use whatever text you'd like, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to generate some placeholder text. I believe it's called lorem ipsum. I'll show you how you can generate that yourself using Inkscape. So uh, I'm going to go to extensions, text, and lorem ipsum. Go ahead and click that. Uh, we're going to get this little pop-up menu here. For this sized image, I'm going to use one paragraph, 50 sentences, and 50 paragraph length fluctuation. Go ahead and click Apply, and it's going to generate some placeholder text, which you can see here. Let me grab the Select tool now. I'm going to take this text and bring it outside of the image over here. And what I want to do now is I want to change the font of this text so it's something more bold. We're going to want more bold text because the only part of the image that's going to show through is the text itself. So if you're using like a really thin, lightweight font, it's not really going to work that well. So let me go to the text editor. The font I'm going to use is uh, Avant Guard, I believe it's pronounced. Uh, you could use whatever you'd like as long as it's a, uh, a bold font. Click Apply, close out of that. And I'm going to bring in the spacing between these letters and the lines. So let me go back to the text tool. And I'm going to click on the text here. And up here where it says spacing between letters, I'm going to change this to negative 2 so that the letters are closer together. And the spacing between the lines, I'm going to change that up here where it says uh, spacing between baselines, I'm going to change that to 0.9. Now you have to may you may have to use different numbers based on what font you're using and what size font you're working with. So just go ahead and play around with it until you have the letters looking all um, compact like you see here on my screen. Once we've done that, I'm going to go back to the select tool. Uh, I'm going to put this over the rectangle right here, and with the text selected, I'm going to hold shift and click the rectangle and go to uh, text, flow into frame. And that's going to flow the text into the frame like that. Then I'll click off of it to deselect everything. What I want to do now is take, click on just the text right here. I want to make this white. And then I want to go back to the text tool. As you can see here, it's not quite enough to fill in the rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of it and I'm going to hit Control C to copy it. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste, hit Control V to paste some more in there. Now it's filling up the entire size of the rectangle. And I don't like how these ends are, uh, how we have these gaps on the right side here, and then it's all flat on the left side. So I'm going to center the text where it says align center like that. That's what we're looking for. And once we've done that, I'm going to grab the select tool. 
and I'm going to take our image. I'm going to, with the image selected, uh, I'm going to click the button over here that says Raise Selection to the top. And then I want to hold Shift and click on the text. And make sure you have the text selected and not the rectangle. I know Inkscape can be a little tricky with grabbing text objects. So just make sure you have the text selected and not the rectangle behind it. And once you've done that, I'm just going to center it up over here with the uh, Align menu. Center it on the uh, vertical axis and the horizontal axis. And then go to Object, Mask, Set. And there you have your text portrait. And what you could do now is... Uh, since we used an object mask instead of uh, a clipping, instead of clipping it, you can now change the color of this. So, like, if you want to make this yellow, and then make the background uh, blue, you can do that as well. So, um, you may not be able to see it as well close up, but if you zoom out, you can notice you can really start to see the image showing through in the text. So, uh, that's pretty much how you can go about doing that with Inkscape. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.